Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to go over five Roblox roguelike games. Starting off, we'll be taking a look at a game called Neon Knights. Neon Knights is a little roguelike game where you, the player, traverse various different regions battling enemies, grabbing some new equipment, and fighting the region boss. Once you complete the region boss, you'll be able to progress and also claim a great reward. The game itself will get difficult over time, however, this game has various different ways to upgrade your character. You yourself have a giant skill tree with a huge amount of different passives that you can acquire and level up. On your journey, you'll be able to collect different weapons and swap them out. You can even upgrade these weapons later on in the game. And even the items that you would think aren't that great are actually going to help you. Clothing, for example, have their own little slots that can have some of the perks from your skill tree. The game itself has a huge variety of different perks that weapons can have as little attributes. Additionally, if you do need some help in this game, there are various NPCs that actually do give you some benefits. I'll be honest with you, this game is huge. It has a few different game modes, a bunch of different secrets. There's a good amount of NPCs that all have their own interactions whenever you do meet them a bunch of times, and the list goes on and on. So if you are curious about this game or if you do need help progressing in the game, I got a playlist filled with different guide videos covering the various topics of this game. The game itself is very fun and I would recommend checking it out. Neon Knights shares a similarity with the next game, however, instead of robots, they're gonna be droids that we're gonna be fighting. This is randomly generated droids. You and other players are gonna work together by selecting a class and diving into a run. Clear out the various regions by battling the droids that stand in your way. Every once in a while, you'll be able to encounter a shop. These shops can have different purposes. They can be basic shops or they can have a cauldron inside of them for making some items. Speaking about items, this game has a huge variety of different items that can help you along the run. The game itself is pretty straightforward. Go from room to room, fighting droids, survive all the way to end, and fight a boss. However, the game does have a few various game modes. There's a progression-based game mode where you clear runs to unlock the next difficulty, and each difficulty stacks on a new situation onto the run. And there's also challenges. If you do want to unlock a few of the more specific or special classes, you're going to have to do a few of these. But other than that, the game is very straightforward and very fun with a group of friends. Instead of traversing room to room, what if we traverse through elevations? This is minus elevation. You and fellow players are going to go into an elevator and traverse the various different floors. However, the elevator has a situation. You need to power it. You and the other players are going to have to go and find some green looking buttons and press them. Once they're all pressed, the elevator can continue on its journey. However, you and the other players are not alone. Every single single floor will have two entities. These entities are very hostile. Depending on what you get, they have different mechanics. Some of them stare at you, some of them chase you, and some of them really, really want you dead. Learning what the entities do and don't do make the game really fun as you progress and learn how to counter them. Additionally, you have items that can help you progress, from stat boosts to consumable items and much more. The game is very fun later on as you're able to build your own little loadout and you'll be able to survive for much longer. As the run continues, the difficulty increases and you'll be able to find some new faces. Additionally, there's some very special rooms. Easter eggs, and much more. You can acquire different items in various ways. Don't feel bad if you die to an entity. There's this thing called information. If you do get killed by an entity, you can get a little bit of this. However, there's alternatives such as clipboards. If you 100% an entity's information, you'll be able to learn some more, such as its difficulty, and you also get a cool little friend. The game is pretty straightforward, and I would definitely recommend checking this out with a huge group of players. The more players you have, the more chaotic it gets as the difficulty spikes and more entities can spawn. However, this only lasts for a little while as 
When players die, the difficulty does reduce and we're back to two entities. But if you're still looking for a little bit of chaos, there's some boss encounters and those can make for some very interesting situations. If you thought we were done talking about the silly little entities, you're wrong. There's a really cool aspect about the games developed under this group, and that is that they cross over. At least some of them. The creators of Minus Elevation also have a game called Mini Mega Factory. If you're not looking for a horror game or a survival game, then how about a factory game? However, this wouldn't be a roguelike or anything interesting if it was just a typical factory game. In this game, you're going to have to adapt to what you have and plan out your situation as best as possible. This is more of a challenging game as you don't get to manage your plot as much as you might hope. Select one of the various challenges and dive right in as each challenge has their own little gimmick. You'll start out with a few conveyor belts of furnace and some droppers. Your job is to make profit. Depending on the challenge, you're going to have to clear a you milestones. It can be something easy like 10 or 28. Each milestone you reach, you'll get some new items to choose from. These are all randomized and they are dependent on what you have unlocked already. After you clear a line of milestones, which is about seven in total, you'll be able to get a very special item for your factory. And once you do complete a level, you'll be able to use a point that you acquire to get a randomized new special item. If you've played Minus Elevation, then you might get some items in this game as well. This game honestly can take a lot of time, so don't worry about exiting the game. It saves your progress and you can pick it up when you come back. I won't spoil anything else, but in the similar fashion of Minus Elevation, there's few pretty cool secrets in this game. With this last one, you're going back in the fight. We're going to be talking about the game Hours. Hours is a beautiful little roguelike where you play as a host and you also select a tempo. A tempo is a very special ability that can be either something really awesome such as a time stop or something else that manipulates the battlefield entirely. However, it could be something silly as well, like the ability to jump. Besides that point, your character is going to have a variety of different upgrades that you can choose from. You're only going to be able to choose one, however. So you better choose something really amazing and adapt to your surroundings as you're going to be fighting your way through five enemies per stage and a boss after all of them have been defeated. Don't worry though, there's only three stages. However, there is a final stage beyond that. This final stage is going to be the final boss fight so i hope you're prepared as you complete runs you'll be able to unlock some new hosts some new tempos and you'll be able to dive into other challenges the game is really fun and i would recommend diving into it fully from the various different difficulties to the different hosts tempos upgrades and more each host has their own play style so it is always refreshing and always fun learning and adapting to your situation the game does have a few game passes to unlock more content so if you are looking for some more maybe dive into a game pass however don't worry the game itself has a lot of different challenges as mentioned these challenges do unlock a lot of content as well this is a game that I would highly recommend checking out at least once. And that is it for this video. That has been 5 Roblox Roguelikes. I hope this video has helped you find a new game to play. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That is all from me, so I will see ya.